Digital Education Through Open and Distance Learning is a book uh, edited by uh, Patrick Alan Danaha and uh, me, that is Abdurrahman Umar. The book focuses on promoting a greater understanding of how open and distance learning can be used to address the two key challenges facing teacher education, mainly the issue of quality, that is quality of teachers and of teaching, and also the issue of uh, supply or the provision of you know, adequate teachers, particularly in the context of education for all. And uh, the book, the chapters of the book were written by scholars of all regions of the world, Europe, Africa, Asia, and so on. And the chapters focus on a number of issues. One is contemporary research on teacher education through open and distance learning. And the idea here is to understand what the research says about the efficacy or effectiveness of teacher education through open and distance learning. Uh, it also looks at the underlying principles and policies of teacher education through open and distance learning. What are the important principles uh, uh, that, un that underlie or that guide the use of teacher education through open and distance learning or the use of ODL to promote teacher education. It also looks at the various uses of uh, open and distance learning to provide teacher education as specifically pre-service teacher education, in-service teacher education, continuing professional development of teachers and so on. And uh, the book also addresses issues related to the use of uh, ICT, that is the new information and communication technology in teacher education through open and distance learning. And that includes, of course, the use of open education resources. Uh, there is a very long chapter by Professor Bob Moore, one of the foremost authorities on open education resources, uh, which discusses the experience of the teacher education in Sub-Saharan Africa Consortium in terms of providing OERs that support the work of teachers in the classroom. Uh, briefly, that are the, these are the main uh, issues that the book seeks to address. But why was the book written? What was the rationale? What were we trying to achieve by getting these prominent scholars to come together and contribute to the debate on the use of uh, open and distance learning for teacher education? Uh, I think the context for the for this book should be seen in terms of the commitment all countries have made to the goals of the uh, education for all program as articulated in the Dakar Framework for Action 2000, uh, and also in the context of the recent global monitoring report on EFA which was published recently by UNESCO. Uh, what comes out clearly from these and other publications, for example, including the UNESCO Institute of Statistics report on teacher supply, you know, what comes out clearly is that uh, there are huge shortfalls of teacher supply in nearly all the countries. Of course, the intensity differs from country to country but particularly in the developing countries of Africa and Asia. Uh, worldwide we are talking about we need 10 million teachers before 2015 or by 2015. Africa alone needs about 4 million teachers. Now the issue is how, how can this number of teachers, this number of teachers be provided with it before 2015, if we simply relied on conventional brick and mortar approaches to teacher training. Uh, what we obviously need is more innovative approaches such as how 
we can harness the potential of open and distance learning to train more teachers in order to meet the target set uh, in the current framework for action. It is in this context that uh, we brought together uh, ten scholars from different, more than twenty, more than ten scholars from different parts of the world to look at the various uh, issues related to the use of open and distance learning to provide teacher education. The overall aim, of course, is to promote an understanding, an adequate understanding of how you can use open and distance learning in teacher education, both for pre-service training and in-service training, and also for continuing professional development. It is our hope that the readers of this book will come to a better understanding of how we can harness the potentials of uh, open and distance learning to train teachers of good quality in different regions of the world. Thank you.